Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. It's an absolutely beautiful fall day in Western North Carolina. We got some cows we need to move. JW's not here, he's on vacation. He's floating on a boat in the Caribbean somewhere, probably drinking one of those drinks with little umbrellas in it. But anyway, stick around. We're gonna show you how we pull wire. We're gonna move those cows from the spot that they're on to the spot that we need them on. And hang around to the end. I've got something I wanna to talk to y'all about. I wanna get your feedback on it. Um, we got something set up we wanna share with you think maybe it'll help us communicate with folks a little bit better. We're going to try it and see. Hang around with us. Okay, so the plan for today is the cows are, they are in a, in a field, in a meadow, back here on the, on the very back side of the property, at the very back of our property line. <clears throat> and what we want to do is we want to bring them into this field here. And this is a much, this is a pretty good sized field, and we don't want to have access to all of it at one time. So what we've done over the summer is we've got some of these green tea posts that are placed along basically about the middle of this field. And I'm gonna pull a wire um, up the middle of the field through these T-posts and we're gonna electrify it. So that'll kind of be our hotline, that'll be our trunk line that we'll be pulling off of. And then what we'll do is we'll go in and we'll set up cross fencing at different intervals up the hill here through this field so that we can give those cows sections of the field at a time. Now we've only got 13 left. Um, but they're pretty good sized steers now. Everybody's bumping 950 to 1,000 pounds. So we've got about 13,000 pounds of uh, animal units on this. So let's pull some wire. We're going to put in a few extra posts because these green T posts are pretty good distance apart because we didn't want to use a bunch of them and we didn't want to take the time to drive a ton of them in. So we'll use some small um, step in uh, portable posts as uh, uh, spacers in the interim. So let's get those set. Reel ran out, uh, out of wire, just a few feet left, and we've got about uh, 75 feet left to go. So we're gonna take another small roll. I should have brought a small roll with me. We'll take another roll and just finish this off. We're gonna bring it down here and tie into this other wire that we've got. This joins, um, this wire right here, joins some barbed wire up there in the corner. Uh, and this whole, this whole field, this part of the farm, has got good perimeter fence on it, except for this here. And the reason we put this up, there's a real steep drop. They probably wouldn't go down it. And even if they did, they went across, they would go up there and run into that fence. But this is more of a control mechanism, keeping them where we want them on the farm. And uh, there they are. Man, they're ready to get moved. Got to get this done. The cows 
have been in this pasture back here, which is on the very back side of the property. There's a tree line back there. You can kind of make the tree line out. Where's that? There it is. You make the tree line out. There's a fence there. That is the property line. And so I came back here to look to see where they were at. And everybody's down here at the drinking station right now. So they are. See them right there? Yeah, they're calling. So they're back there. They're ready to move. So we're going to finish getting this wire put in, get a paddock set up for them. And I'll show you where we're going to walk them across. Got a great place to walk them across from that field into this one without having to climb a hill. We'll get them up here so they can keep grazing, keep putting on a little bit of weight. Ran into two little problems right there. Uh, number one, um, up here in the paddock that they were in, there was a cow that had gotten on the other side of the wire where they were supposed to be. So I went over to roll the wire up to try to get him back in with the rest of the group. They all thought, when they hear that click, 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 click of the, of the reel, they think that's their cue to go to the new location. So I started rolling that reel up. They wanted to go where they weren't supposed to be walked the reel around, got everybody on the other side of the reel. Then we had trouble getting them going. But as you saw, once they got in this lane right here that we had built, uh, they took off, came down, went through this spring gate right here. These things are super nice. They went through the spring gate and boom, they're in their new paddock. So that actually went pretty well for one person. It took quite a while, but uh, we got done. Okay, I didn't record it, but I got the drinker, which was sitting on the other side of that gate up there, brought it down and uh, set it just inside the fence here. So, Joe Mega Flow valve, uh, 55 gallon pickle drum, cut in half with a little um, three quarter inch um, bulkhead on it. Run to the, uh, got this run to a hydrant in the shop. Pressurized coming off of the reservoir box. This stays full. Cows always keep plenty to drink when I have to wear water chores. 
This is about a uh, 50 or $60 solution to water. And uh, this water, we watered 20 cows off of this this year. No problem. All right, so that went pretty well. Um, moving cows is one of the primary things that JW does. And like I said, he is on vacation this week. Uh, well-deserved and well-earned uh, for him. So the thing that I wanted to talk to you about, I've been very reluctant to do this, but there are some things that are happening that are causing us, well, not really causing, but are sort of driving us in this direction. Uh, we have decided to start a Patreon account. Now, before you click off, let me explain to you why we're doing this. I know a lot of farm channels out there, homesteaders, YouTube channel, channels in general, a lot of times all they're doing is begging for money. I get that. Um, but here's the situation that we found ourselves in. We get a ton of emails, Facebook messages, texts, um, even phone calls, because our phone number is pretty, I mean, it's pretty public because of the business. Um, and it's just taking a bunch of our time. And we get questions on everything, on everything farming, uh, feed, fence, water, breeds, types of animals, how much land you've got, uh, marketing, sales, farmer's markets, all that kind of stuff. And we want to help you. Uh, we really do. But the volume is just becoming almost unmanageable. And I run through this mental calculus in my mind. Okay, which questions do I answer? Which ones do I not? Because from a time perspective, we just can't get to them all. We've still got the farm to run. We've got farmer's markets. I've got an off-farm job. We're doing YouTube. I mean, there's just a lot going on. So if you'd like to sign up on our Patreon account, that's going to give you uh, priority access on us answering your questions. Not saying we're not going to answer questions in other places, but I guarantee you, if you are a Patreon member and you send us a question, your question will get answered. Even if we need to do a phone call consultation, we can set that kind of thing up and we can work through that. A couple other benefits we're going to add to that. You'll have access to uh, the videos that we do. We're going to try to put, put them on Patreon about 12 hours prior to them going live on YouTube. They'll be ad-free, no ads that you have to sit through there. Um, we're also going to do a private Facebook group. Uh, it'll be Sheraton Park Farms Consulting and Support. So that'll give you an opportunity to join the Facebook group over there. Again, um, pretty free access. I'll be very active over there answering questions and some of those kinds of things. Please don't feel obligated. Again, we see a lot of folks that are out there just, they turn me off begging for money. Um, but time, uh, time is very valuable to us and, um, you know, there, there needs to be a little bit of compensation for some of the work that we're doing. And uh, we feel like this is just the best way to go about it. We're going to try it. We're going to see if it works. If it doesn't, we'll just close it down. No big deal. But anyway, that's where we're at. Again, don't feel obligated. Link's in the description down below. We'd love to have you join our Patreon account. Um, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Thanks.